Ambassador to Kyrgyzstan, Genghis Farat, joins me now live from Bishkek. Thank you so much uh, for being with us. This is a very complicated and divisive picture developing here. Some say it's bordering on a coup d'etat. Uh, what is happening from your perspective in Bishkek? Thank you very much. Um, good evening from Bishkek. Uh, what we can say is that there was quite a lot of resentment uh, on the part of the uh, majority of the population um, concerning the voting procedures. Um, and there was a lot of allegations, a lot of claims that there were uh, vote ringing um, going on. So um, when we looked at the four parties that passed the threshold of 7% uh, to enter parliament, uh, three of them uh, were linked to the current um, government and current administration. And a lot of the parties that actually believed they would pass 7% uh, were not represented in the new um, uh, formation of the parliament. So uh, as we saw in your explanation just uh, two minutes ago, um, we had uh, big demonstrations taking place in Bishkek, and the White House was ransacked. Um, today we have new developments. Um, we have still people in the streets, youth um, still in the streets, um, roaming the streets. But at the same time, there's a lot of work going on to establish some sort of order, some sort of um, working relationship, um, and a new formation of government. Um, as um, you also um, pointed out in the beginning, tonight we have a development where the Speaker of Parliament and the Prime Minister has resigned. And uh, 67 parliamentarians out of 120 actually attended um, a special um, session of parliament where they discussed the future um, of an interim government. And uh, Mr. Japarov uh, was elected as prime minister and Mr. Abdeldaev was elected as speaker of parliament. Now we're hoping um, going to tomorrow and maybe the next days, a couple of days ahead, that um, this new formation will be accepted by the po population at large and also by a coalition uh, calling themselves the Coordination Council. They comprise of... Um, couple of parties that actually um, went and entered the parliamentary elections. So if it all goes well, hopefully tomorrow or the next day, we might have a little bit more stability in Kyrgyzstan. Okay. I mean, um, the, the, we, one, one positive point it sounds like you're making, if I'm understanding everything correctly, is that it sounds like this will be resolved within Kyrgyzstan, that they are managing the process. There won't be a need for any kind of international intervention or even mediation. Is that what you're seeing? I would, I would say that is very correct. Um, I think everybody is on board with the fact that Kyrgyz people and the Kyrgyz political um, elite, as we can call them, can actually solve this uh, through actual constitution and the rule of law. Um, what we saw today was uh, legitimacy. Um, 67 parliamentarians actually attended a special session where they, um, the, the prime minister attended that session, the speaker of parliament attended that session, and they actually resigned with their own will. And new um, people were elected. So we see that there is a new formation and a legitimate, uh, rightful formation. So I don't think there's any need for outside um, intervention or outside mediation as such. Um, the Kyrgyz people um, are going forward with this um, in the right manner. Okay. Ambassador Cengiz Firat, thank you so much for joining us. We greatly appreciate it.